for today's cup of coffee. This is like the third take that I've had to do. Are we having fun yet? That's what I'm going to know. Is everybody having fun yet? Because that's that's the important part. <laughs> it's like I was in the middle of recording and had the flow going and, you know, kids down in Bristol this weekend and somebody stops on some kind of, it wasn't a motorcycle, it's one of those other things right here in front of the house and it has it has a horn on it and it's just one of those that sort of leads us to what we're talking about which is heresy uh, for a motorcycle to have a horn i'm not not back in my day Anyhow, god and just think this is just the second day of august 2024 yeah We got several more of these. And Palace Pepper and some other folks over there on X have this most interesting astrology bingo thing going on. So you might want to go over there and check that out. And it's different things, events that can happen as far as... And and it's in fun. I mean, seriously, a lot of it is very much tongue-in-cheek on this, I hope. I think that where they ought to start another one, it's like uh, fulfillment of scripture and prophecies from Revelation. Yeah, I think we're, mm mm-hmm, we're close to bingo on that one. But, (laughs) what we're seeing is fascinating. We are here for this particular time for whatever reason. You know, even if we don't understand it, on a spiritual level, we have chosen to be here. Observing what's going on in our world right now has been fascinating from a clinical standpoint. When when you're living it, not so much. But this is an extraordinary period of time. And so it was a matter of looking up heresy. And I'll get to that in just a moment. And from Cambridge Dictionary, and I had to, (laughs) you got a question, because we are seeing words, definitions, information disappear before our eyes right now i mean that's been going on for quite a few days and this is a matter of psyops and gaslighting and it's fascinating those of you who want to uh record things that may be online i'm suggesting that people get an external hard drive and download those things to the external hard drive because it's a little less accessible that way. So I wasn't even sure when I looked up the definitions of these words whether I would get something that was accurate or not. But from Cambridge.org, I was actually pleased with this. And the definition of a zealot, they're saying, is a person who has a very strong or has very strong opinions about something and tries to make other people have them too. So that's important, which leads us to our definition on the screen today, what is a heretic? And someone who has an opinion that is opposite to or against the official or popular opinion. Or it can be someone who has beliefs that are against the principles of a particular religion. And there's a fine line between as far as what is the definition of a religion we usually think that there is a deity involved in a religious belief not necessarily if you've got marxist and stuff like that and then the government that becomes a it's a false god we have so many new religions that has sprung up over the past I mean, some, well, some of them older than you like to think it is. But it's incredible. And that if anybody goes against the narrative or questions the narrative, they are labeled a heretic. Now, at this point, uh, to date, they're not uh, taking people out and doing what they used to, like during the Spanish Inquisition, yet. Let's hope we don't devolve to that. But we may. But what they're doing, it's a new type of that, which is 
the shunning and shaming and all that stuff. And I saw this several years back before it got to this fever pitch that we've got going on today. And that there was a particular movement. And when you were amongst a certain group, and if somebody just dared ask a question, which would be a reasonable, logical question, because question everything, and I have seen them just get dogpiled. To the point that nobody else dared ask a question. That ain't cool. That's a cult. And that was what happened, uh, you know, today that there was somebody, it was a young man. I'm not going to get on on the politics stuff because I'm more out with it. That had dared go against the narrative. And the consequences were severe. Severe. And so, kid changed his opinion. This is a 20-some-year-old kid. We're talking frontal lobe, not fully functioning yet. And then he was allowed back into the fold, sort of. Because there was forgiveness, or forgiveness was supposedly told that, and yet the memes continued, which again is shaming. How dare you go against the narrative? You have committed heresy. So what a time to be alive. Question everything. I've been called anything and everything. I was paid to be cussed for years, so I don't care what anybody calls me. You know. But for these kids and for these people and to realize how easily you can be drawn into a cult-like mindset. I was delivered out of a cult years ago, 30 some years ago. And it starts with love bombing. There's a lot with the narcissist, you know, of course, I guess it's the same demonic spirit, if you want to call it that. You're one of us. You belong here. We're so glad you're here. And just this amazing, welcoming, enveloping everything until you dare question or you step out of line or you go why do why do we do it like this what wouldn't this make more sense are you strong enough to dare question are you strong enough in your beliefs to be able to give someone a logical rational answer if they ask a question That's something I found out a long time ago. If somebody's belief system on whatever it is, is so weak that they cannot deal with someone asking a question, then they really have no basis to their belief system. Why do you believe what you believe? Why do you have your views and opinions on anything? Do you know why or are you, you know, just following now, I know that the Podling Pirates, y'all know, y'all know better. <laughs> I'm preaching to the choir, and I appreciate that. But I actually did have somebody um, on my rant there during the week or whatever as far as California, and it was over on Rumble, and sometimes I don't check the notifications because I have I've collected quite a few bots over there. I have a fine subscriber base of bots on Rumble. But somebody had questioned as far as my comments about people from California. You know, generalities. There are so many billion people on this planet. And it is insane to sit and think that you can go, okay, this one does, this one doesn't, this one does, this one doesn't. In my experience, and I feel like I have to put a disclaimer on anything and everything. And it's like, we have had people from California that come into the area. It's not that I think that everybody from California is evil. I really don't. But it's like some of these other things, when when what is being presented is in a negative image, and I understand that that is a part of the mainstream narrative to uh, as far as propaganda. But some of the ones that we have had come here have been wonderful. And then some of the ones that we have had, uh uh-uh. 
nope, was glad that they left, went back wherever. And that's true of anybody from anywhere. We have people that were born here that we would like to send someplace else. But it's, and this is part of the indoctrination that people in this country have gone through. In our area, if we see somebody with, that has a California license plate, we do sort of sit there and go, hmm, we take a step back and just watch, we observe. But as far as giving a full out apology, no, no, I'm not going to do it because I had the right to my opinion. And it's okay if I get challenged. I'm not afraid of that. I've been doing the videos here for quite a few years, have had some people that if it is a reasonable question, I have no problem with somebody going, hey, we're Linda, honey, you need to rethink this and stuff. And some of it has changed my views on things. But if it's one of those that, and then I've had people say some really ugly things, and it's just like, no, nah, don't waste my time on that. I ain't got time for that. You know, I don't think anybody has got time for that right now. So to be aware of what's going on within yourself, within the world, that's a reason, situation, aware, awareness. By the time that I finish recording this, it's hard to tell what has happened. This is why it's a matter of being in constant prayer, one for another. For those that we don't like, it's easy. <laughs> it was what Christ said. He said, it's easy to love those people that love you. Love your enemies. Pray for them. That doesn't mean you have to let them up in your house or in your personal space. But we don't know why these people are doing what they're doing. I think that we've got a whole lot of people that's under this, this demonic spell. I really do. You can look at them. I have seen videos of some of these people's faces and some of the things that has happened. And it is a matter of uh, just flat out demons. Flat out demons. So if you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, tinfoil, hats, any of that good stuff, you can give me an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. Who knows what it does or what it does not do. We're on YouTube, BitChute, and Rumble. And over there on X. And it's Worlanda, C-O-C-W-S. And for the most part, I try to share some pretty cool stuff. Know that you are loved. Treat other people the way that you would like to be treated. Which includes forgive. If you Have you ever needed forgiveness? Be willing to forgive other people. If you've ever wanted to be understood or to have some somebody show you some compassion or kindness, do that to other people. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Bye.